high energy rotating parts, parts like spools, discs, shafts, are life limited by the FAA for a reason. These are parts that if they fail, could hazard the aircraft. So we have to develop life limits to ensure they're removed from service before problems can occur. So how do you develop life limits? You start with the basics. What's the mechanical load? The pressures, the temperatures, the vibration input. And then you assess that over the complete flight cycle. Taxi, takeoff, climb, cruise, and so forth. And you understand all these conditions and build a life model. But to do that, you have to set some boundaries called boundary conditions. How much temperature, how much pressure, and so forth. And to do that, you have to understand which parts have that influence. What parts set the pressures, the temperatures, the flows. If you think about a simple part like a turbine blade, it fits into a disc and it puts a load on the disc as it spins. But even a simple part like this, at takeoff speeds, the pulling force is equivalent to five large pickup trucks at each blade location. So a subtle change in weight, center of gravity, can dramatically change the load on the disc and the life of the disc. The same can be said for turbine nozzles. These don't actually touch a part. They're static, they don't touch the LLP, but yet cooling flow comes through the part on one side, out the other, into the cavity to cool the disc or the spool of the shaft. A slight change in airflow can be a big change in temperature. The final step in the lifing process is to actually validate your models and make sure all your assumptions, all your boundary conditions are correct. How do you do that? Instrumented engine testing. You take an engine, you build it very carefully with all kinds of sensors and transducers to collect data. You assemble the full engine and then you test the full engine with all these sensors and you validate temperatures, pressures, flows, loads, and make sure the answer the engine tells you matches the answer your computer tells you. True Engine LLP qualification is your assurance that the LLP you have has always operated a configuration consistent with how GE likes the LLP. We work with the operator, the MRO provider, whoever has the part and the records to review the records and make sure this part is always operated consistent with our defined configuration and our lifing model. This designation guarantees our highest level of technical support because we know the part is always operated consistent with our design.